What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with a breaking news video for The Division 2. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. But this is all about Title Update 17 and why I think this update's going to be coming out this coming week. Now I have been telling everyone in my previous videos that on the Season 10 countdown, we are only two days away from it being expired. So then season 10 is forever done. And that means we are due for season 11. Now that brings us to Tuesday. So Tuesday would be my guess for season 11. And these changes are telling me that I think they are ready for a Tuesday release. Now uh, here we go. I was just tagged, do, 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 let me go over here, in this. And shout out to Ghost, um, who brought this to my attention. He said, hey man, they just changed all of this on their known issues board. It's all under fix ready. Now, if you remember any of our videos talking about their known issues board, here it is. And if we scroll over to the fix ready category, this is everything that is ready to be implemented into the game for the next update. Now, he was right. All of these have been added to the fix ready, which would indicate that title update 17 is ready to go. Now, before we get into the fix ready and you know give everyone a refresher on what changes are to come, let's see if there are anything else um, that would stick out in their known issues board. So let's see if there are any other changes for reported, um, traveling from New York to DC causes the game to crash. I don't think that or the PC crashes are, well, that's after title update 16.3. Uh, Interesting. Okay. It's still there. Now under investigating, um, PvP players, uh, corner camping, removing expertise, hand gloves, PC stability, artificer, all of these seem to be the same. Um, tag team, talent, heartbreaker, and more PC crashes. Those all look to be the same. Um, let's see here. January 24th. So these, these are new. Okay. Now, do to do, do, was this tag team new? November 22nd, no, okay. So it looks like the in progress and the fix ready are the two new categories that have been updated, okay? Now, for in progress, we have conflict, rewards, revamp. Remember that ever since they introduced Keener's Watch and Watch Levels, um, a lot of people know them as your shade level. Um, when you play conflict PvP, you only get like say a thousand XP per match, where it would take seven hundred thousand XP to gain one level in your shade watch. So it makes it pretty much impossible for you to get any XP that's viable from conflict to your shade watch. So let's see what they put here. To make conflict a viable XP uh, farming option, we want to increase the conflict rewards and add kill XP for eliminating another player to not slow conflict players down on their shade watch and season progression. So now, um, now this is not ready for the update yet. It, had, it went from investigating to in progress. So expect this. I would probably say like title update 17.1, 17.2, something like that. I mean, they're moving this along, and this would deeply increase the amount of uh, you know people going into conflict because now you're going to be able to get shade watch levels, season levels, Look right here, exotic components and targeted loot. So conflict is going to have targeted loot, exotic components, 
and it's going to give you XP for eliminating players, and it's going to give you an increase to XP overall so that you can farm these shade levels and, and uh, season levels. This is cool. This is really cool. Now, I've been playing Conflict for a very long time, and I've been really advocating for them to do something about it for years, ever since Warlords of New York, because whenever they introduced the watch level, we all noticed that the Dark Zone in Conflict was not adding XP to your watch. And then shortly after that, they fixed it to where the Dark Zone did go to your watch level, but they never did it for Conflict. So this is a this is a change that is well overdue. And then introducing the exotic components into those caches is a nice touch. That's really good. All right, let's see what else is new here for um, in progress. My bad. Uh, moved block list below clan members. Okay, this is planned for title update 17. So we'll see. We shall see. But you can see here that it was changed from investigating to in progress. And these changes are four days old, just so everyone knows. Um, this isn't like breaking news as in this just happened today. Uh, I think no one <laughs> no one noticed. This is hilarious. Um, let's see here. Global directives should not be active during raids. Again, plan for title update 17. Oh, er, never mind. Planned for title update 18. Okay. So you'll still be able to do raids with directives until title update 18. Interesting. Is that what all the green, dark green marks are? Hold on. This one has a dark green mark. Oh, 17.1. Okay. Interesting. So they will be fixing the scope mod for the O'Carroll. Um, let's see, visual bug here. There's a workaround and yeah, they're not, okay. So that's it for the in progress. Now let's go to the fix ready. Now fix ready, very first one, planned for title update 17 and it's under fix ready. So they are adding the Revenus, the, uh, the Bighorn and the Eagle Bearer to the dark zone. So let's read it here, and this will be coming out as soon as the new update is out. So you will be able to farm these exotics in the Dark Zone as soon as this update goes live. Now it says here, exotic weapons that can be received as a random loot drop from killing enemies in the Dark Zone. The Ravenous, the Bighorn, the Eagle Bear. Right now, the drop chance of these three items is set to be similar to the exotic drop chance of an heroic in the dark zone. It will be monitored and adjusted if we find it too generous. Oh, man. So they even increased. Oh, yo. Go to the dark zone as soon as this update goes live. Yo. Next one. Now this is a uh, plan to be fixed. We're, we're not sure exactly what they're changing, but this was changed to the fix ready. Jammer levels should be the same or higher. And then this is lower till, uh, skill tier players can no longer jam um, against higher skill tier players. So say you're a tier zero and then you go to jam like say like a tier six Stinger Hive, you're not going to be able to. All right. Shrapnel Traps. Updated. Do, do, do. January. Yeah. Okay. We already know that they fixed it, so it's just going to go live. The Dr. Home. The Dr. Home Exotic Rifle Deconstruction doesn't give you an exotic component. Plan for title update 17. This is moved to the fix ready. Good to go. Next, changing between two loadouts of gear sets that have at least two distinct item pieces nullifies the effect of the set bonus. Say again? For example, having two loadouts where ongoing directive mask and gloves are distinct causes the set to no longer function. Whoa. The affected sets. Heartbreaker. Ongoing directive. 
negotiators, strikers, rigger, and foundry bulwark. Wow, okay. Confirmed workaround. Unequip and re-equip the item as the effective gear set for it to function again. Okay, interesting. So, ongoing directive, mask and gloves. For example, having two loadouts where the ongoing directive, mask and gloves, will cause the set to no longer function. Dang. Okay. So, if you're using any of these gear sets, just... uh make sure you're getting those indicators and then if not just uh unequip and re-equip all of your items individually okay sledgehammer and perfect sledgehammer talent can be stacked when using an incendiary grenade plan for title update 17. and finally the focus talent this was moved to the fix ready plan for title update 17. And this says that the focus talent is not triggered when aiming with the Dr. Home Rifle or the O'Carroll. And they are fixing that. So you'll be able to use focus with the O'Carroll and Dr. Home. All right. Not too shabby. Now that is everything that is new. Let's see here. Won't fix. Let's see if there's anything here. No. Okay. Stability. Yep, we already know all this. Now, the reason why everyone wants to go to the Dark Zone, I'll just give you this reminder right here. The exotic component drop chances are by far the highest in the Dark Zone. So if you are grinding those expertise levels or you're trying to upgrade your items past level 10 where it costs a lot of exotic components, the Dark Zone is the number one place to get exotic components. And now they're adding in the Eagle Bear, the Ravenous, and the Bighorn, and they're saying that they just increase the chances of getting it too. So if it's too generous, they will throttle it back. So what I'm saying is right now, get ready this coming week to be farming the Dark Zone because this will be your number one opportunity to get a Ravenous, Bighorn, or an Eagle Bearer if you don't have it already. Boom. That's pretty sick. And they up the chances too. So, mm. anyways. All of this and more is on my Twitter page, so follow me over there. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I am Kamikaze Von Doom, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Peace.